Okay, so first order of business, my hair is pink. And we're moving on now. Okay, so I'm going to start with my eyes for this look. I'm going to use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And this is like pretty thick, so it covers all like my eye veins. I don't even know if I have eye veins, but whatever. It just makes it all like an even base and makes the eyeshadows pop a little more. To set that base, I'm going to use this like bone color in the Sonia Kashuk palette. Just set everywhere I put that concealer because I don't want it to be all tacky. And for my transition shade, I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee and I'm going to be just putting that all in my crease. this would be like a very warm orange look so we're gonna go in with a couple other colors on top of this but this is just gonna be our base color and to warm up the look a little bit I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Chickadee eyeshadow it's kind of like an orangey yellow but it'll just help make this orange in the creme brulee color pop being like too precise on how I'm blending because it's gonna be a kind of a messy look so who cares am I right oh yeah this is the Sigma where's the name Sigma E40 brush that's what I used for the first two colors and now on the Mac 217 I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear and I'm going to very lightly put this in the outer crease because I want a little bit of definition. I don't want it to just all be one color, but I don't want it to be too intense. So I'm gonna go in with very light hand and slowly drag that a little bit into the crease. I mean, it doesn't make that huge of a difference. I just like more definition. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. And then back to the E40 brush, I'm going to take Chickadee and run it over one more time. Just in case I lost some of that warmth that we put in. I want this eyeshadow to be very orange because I'm doing a blue liner and blue and orange are complementary colors, so I want the orange eyeshadow to make the blue liner really pop the goal. So I don't really want anything on the lids like too intense so I'm just going to go back into this bone shade in the Sonia Kashuk palette and I'm going to put that on the lid kind of like a soft sort of cut crease but I also don't want to taint any of the eyeshadows I already put in the crease. And then just going to go over it again Again, with no, no additional product on this brush, just to soften that line. And I'm not gonna do the lower lash line until I finish the foundation and everything like that, so. Now for the eyeliner. Mm. Okay, and for the eyeliner, I'm going to be using this tiny little e.l.f. brush. I think it's an eyeliner brush, but it might be called something different. I don't really know. It doesn't have a name on it, so it's just small. For the fun part, the eyeliner I'm going to be using is this really vibrant blue. I don't know if you can see how absolutely blue that is, but it's part of the Gwyneth Mosby makeup line and it's called Ocean's Eleven. I'm not the best at freehanding eyeliner, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna start on the edge of my eye. I'm gonna take it out in a tiny little wing and bring it back I can't get too close to you everything that's in my mind I don't even know if you can
can see how blue that is. Alright, well there's one blue wing. Now I gotta make it even. Now to start with my face, I'm going to use the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Gobi. I'm going to be doing that on a Real Techniques buffer brush. I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. <laughs> Always blend down your neck so you don't have a harsh like line right here from where your foundation meets your neck. I am going to cream contour and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe and it's a little dark. It works better when I'm like self tanned, but I'm gonna just you I'm gonna use it anyways because YOLO. I'm gonna put it on one side at a time because it dries really fast, so I'm gonna put it on, then I'm gonna blend it, then I'm gonna do the other side. So if that makes sense. I'm gonna take that in a little bit because I have huge cheeks, so this just makes it look slimmer. <laughs> Two little dots. And same thing to the other side of my forehead. Just gonna put two. Ooh, that was a lot. Gonna put two big dots, apparently. Clean up the contour line on my cheeks. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. And I'm going to blend that in with foundation brush.
again blend it out with this brush now to highlight my under eyes and the rest of my face I'm taking the covergirl ready set gorgeous and this is the lightest shade it doesn't have a name on the bottle but just gonna put that under my eyes on the bridge of my nose not too much because my nose gets really oily my forehead my chin and a little bit on my cupid's bow and i'm going to blend that in with my this is a real techniques beauty sponge it's not an actual beauty blender but works the same and it's cheaper and really dirty <laughs> It's okay to blend this a little bit into the contour so the contour is not so harsh because we're going to be going over it with a powder anyway so now to set all those areas i just put concealer i'm taking my new favorite palette and it's the Kat Von D shade light palette I'm setting it with this color right here. It's called Levitation, I believe. That's right. Anyways, it's the whitest shade, and I'm going to use it on an e.l.f. This is not e.l.f. What the heck? On a Target brush. This is just, I think it was their blush brush. It's really dirty because I always set my concealer with that. I need to clean my brushes. Mm. Set all those areas. <laughs> set the rest of my face I'm going to be taking the Neutrogena whatever this is called Neutrogena mineral shears powder foundation in classic ivory 10 I'm just gonna do this with a big fluffy powder brush from real techniques <laughs> pet peeves is having makeup on my lips okay now before I finish the face I'm going to fill in up my eyebrows off camera so I'll be right back okay now I filled in my eyebrows and took off the makeup on my lips because it was really annoying so I did and now I'm going to bronze up my face wherever I put that cream contour I'm going to be using the the uh, Kat Von D shade and light palette again and I'm taking this middle shade right here it's called shadow play I'm just gonna put that everywhere I just put the cream concealer and I'm gonna put a little bit on my jawline just to sharpen it so Now for blush, I'm taking the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I'm taking this on a Real Techniques blush brush. How fitting. And for highlighter, I'm going to be taking um, my Becca Highlighter in Champagne Pop. It's just like a very gold kind of highlighter. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite thing ever. Anyways. I'm going to be putting this on with a Real Techniques contour brush. I'm going to put that on the high points of my cheeks. I'm going to put it down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Oh yeah, I'm going to contour my nose actually, and I'm going back into the shade and light palette, but I'm taking this shade instead, this one all the way to the side, and this is called Subconscious. I'm just going to do that with that same Sigma E40 brush because it works best. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm going back into creme brulee and I'm going to put that from outer corner to inner corner. 
This can be a little messier than usual. Like I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. Make it really smoked out. Then I'm going to take chickadee and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to run this right over everywhere I put creme brulee. Then for just the outer third of the lower lash line, I'm going to take cocoa bear again and just focus this on the corner because that's how it is in the top. So, gotta balance, you feel? Okay, now I'm going to curl my top lashes and coat them with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. And I'm only gonna do my top lashes because I'm gonna put on falsies, then I'll put the mascara on the bottom. I don't know why I do that, but I do. Okay, and for falsies, I'm using these from LA Charm. They're, I don't know exactly what style they are, but they're number to coat my bottom lashes with the same mascara I used on the top. And now for lips, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Tool. And kind of scared because this is very dark. And just for fun, I'm going to be taking a little bit of champagne pop and putting that over the lipstick. And this is the completed makeup look. I really hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm going to be using the MAC Soft Over. Soft Over. Man, I need to tweeze my eyebrows. <gasps> Goodness gracious me. It's called, ooh, blinding. It's just like a peach br- <laughs> It matches my hair, kinda. It's just like a peach br- bl bl